Gun shop employees of Reddit, what are some red flags that have caused you to deny a sale of a firearm? I worked behind the sporting goods counter at a Walmart. I can't remember exactly what made me think the guy was trying to buy for someone else, but the sale was suspicious, so I declined to sell him a long gun. He immediately got irate. He started yelling at me and slamming his fists against the counter demanding that I hand him a gun. Sure I'm going to hand the belligerent man a firearm. He demanded to speak to management who escorted him out of the building. In the times before the instant background check, we just took their word for it. The guy answered yes on the have you been convicted of a felony question. I told him he couldn't buy a gun. He asked for another form so he could answer no. I told him to leave and never come back. Either it was an ATF sting or he was too stupid to own a gun. I used to work for an big box outdoors store. It wasn't our store, but one in FD Worth, we got an email about it. Woman called store and warned them her husband was on his way to buy a gun to kill her. Thankfully she called before they got there, and he got denied. No idea what happened after that though. Back when I used to work behind the counter, I had a guy who wouldn't stop sweeping customers and employees with the muzzle of firearms he asked to see. I warned him several times to stop. When he deliberately aimed it at a customer I immediately took the pistol away and kicked him out the store. That kind of unsafe behavior is something I won't tolerate, and I certainly denied sales back then, and I will deny training if I see it on the range now. Our range rents out firearms for trap slash skeet shooting. Had a lady come and asking strange questions like does it hurt if someone gets shot with it, and also acted weird when she answered a call and told the person that she was at a coffee shop. She left, and we called the cops to file a report of a suspicious person. Drugs. Had a guy come in one time with his family and wanted something cheap. He had all these track marks on his arms, scabs on his face, and was really out of it. I did my best to tell him no without making a fuss and finally had to say something about the track marks in front of everyone. Not a good day for him, I guess he'd been telling his family they were from something else, and they believed him. Gun license photo in Australia looked nothing like him, and he couldn't tell me the name or birthday on the license. I asked because there was the lack of resemblance between him and picture, and a big red flag when he picked up a rifle and pressed his eye hard into the scope to look through it. Just walked out with his head down when he was told we're keeping the lost slash stolen gun license. Your head sits a few inches behind the scope, so you don't end up with a black eye after firing, and you can't see through them properly if your eyes hard up to it. And to even get your eye to the scope you have to hold the gun wrong in so many ways it just screams I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I like it when they make it obvious for me and, hopefully, joke about shooting at school slash protesters. It happens more than you would think. Also, don't send your friend you were browsing with to try and buy the exact same firearm that you wanted 15 minutes after I told you I couldn't sell to you. Worked at a large outdoor store in their firearms section. Had a customer come in and ask about a precision rifle chambered in .338 Lapua. Then while handing him his background paperwork he asked how far can this bullet hit a human-sized target. He said he was buying it for big game hunting, a little sketchy I know, I gave him some answer oh at least 1000 yards, but I'll get a definite answer. Walked in back to find the manager, who was the only person who can deny a sale, explained what happened, manager had him fill out paperwork and get his ID then denied sale immediately after. And the kicker was he used his Chinese passport with a student visa as his ID, police were called, and they took it to the FBI. I used to work in a large outdoors retailer. I had a man come in for a gun that refused to give me his ID. Also didn't want to give me his name, address, date of birth, or any other info. He said he should just be able to answer the questions on the background check, and that should be all I needed. Sale denied. Reverse situation. Knife dealer at a gun show, and a guy wanted to trade a fairly unique handgun for knives. I dot little geeky, but no major red flags. No problem. 
He picked out his knives which resulted in a good-sized stack of blades. Talking to him while bagging them he says he wanted to trade the gun for knives because I never get the chance to shoot people. I already had his info and reported him to local PD and had the gun checked. He came back clean and so did the gun. In the end, just an odd fellow. I just don't get why people would say that. Like I know people can be socially awkward and don't want to look like a bad person around someone selling weapons, but out of everything you can say.